Damn it, Clayton. Man, ever since I knew you from the beginning when I started playing this game, I knew you were a beast, but I just didn't think you were this much of a beast. Man, now you got me thinking. Yo, how's it going everybody? My name is Armando and welcome back to the channel. So guys, I know I said I wouldn't make a different tier video, but there's just so much going on and not even the month that I left. Admin has been doing updates for Death Frontier 2, 3D has been getting more updates, and now Clayton is making a Death Frontier 2D comeback? Like, 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 what is happening? Like, why didn't this happen when I was still playing? I don't know what's going on anymore. Like, god damn it, guys. So no, of course, another reason why I'm making this video is because there have been some people that have been telling me, yo, weren't you killer sent for 3 from Death Frontier? And well, I always try to make these videos to explain that yes, I am killer 743. But again, not many people have watched that specific video because well, when you change your name from killer 743 to JC Gaming to Armando 6 and to just Armando, people tend to kind of lose track of what the heck is going on. So that's my fault, guys. I should have basically, you know, polished that up a little bit. And now that we finally cleared that up, I mean, back to the topic at hand, Dead Frontier 2, okay? Also known as Dead Frontier is still alive. So as you guys may or may not know, Dead Frontier 2D is what got everybody started on 3D, okay? Back in the day, back in 2008, 7, whatever, there used to be this arcade game. It was a Dead Frontier 2 kind of arcade game. Sorry for repeating myself. You go in, you spawn, you take out as many zombies as you can, survive in the end. Eventually, Neo had the idea to make it multiplayer and more or less became successful. I mean, it had that nice ominous feeling to it. You go outside, you were nervous because, you know, the deeper you get into the end zone, you would see purples, reds, burning reds, running long arms, you know, everything of sort. And it would just get very intense over time. Not only that, but the game was barely paid to win. You know, the only OP things in that game was the grinder, the GAU, and more or less the dusk weapons, okay? But, you know, GAU was a different story, you know? People were, like, taking mom's and dad's credit card, you know, had to had get some refunds, and there were scams, there were hacks, and it was just a huge mess. And that is the reason why, you know, when it came back in 3D, I was honestly very shocked. I was like, why would Admin do this? But you know what? In, at the end of the day, I guess security did get better. But anyway, back to the point at hand, uh, yeah, it was just an overall fun game. Nothing was over the top. Granted, the sync, you know, the multiplayer sync was horrendous. <laughs> there will be people on the right, zombies that are coming up in other people's screen and we couldn't see them. I mean, yeah, sure, it had its problems. But when it came to gameplay-wise, it was very, very fun. Now, I bet people are asking me, yo, uh, Armando, also known as Killer Sapphire 3, why do you care about Death Frontier 2D coming back? You know for the genre well to put it you know in simple words or a long story short one is made by clayton and you know clayton has been doing many things for 3d you know there was those mods and you know there was that damage things he did a lot for 3d and the fact that it's being developed by him and not neo it kind of tells me that you know it's being made from a person's from a different person's perspective you know what is he thinking in that head of his what ideas does he have is he going to do something more you know it's just very interesting to kind of think about that you know is made from a fan's perspective not really much of the creator even though the creator did have a huge part in making it but you know fans um, honestly have better ideas and sometimes of that of the creator you know because at the end of the day the fans know what the players want and the fans know what the players need so it always comes hand to hand so to keep this video short, I mean, I know many of you guys might be asking me, yo, Killer, also known as Armando now, <laughs> will you ever play this game, you know, just to give it a shot? And to be honest, yes, I honestly would. Because I always said this in that video, if you guys haven't seen it yet, that if there's an opportunity, you know, that I see of a new thing in Death Frontier, I will go back, and if I do like it, I will 100% make content in it, okay? And Death Frontier 2D, you know, back in 2007 and 8 was a game that I honestly adored. You know, there was never there was never a better feeling of, you know, getting grenades to a certain level and just start blowing everything around you, even if it was the M79, because honestly, grenades were just that overpowered. Everything in that game had knockback, and the fact that he said that he's gonna put more zombies in the area, dude, I can tell you, people might rage quit if they don't know how to play that game, because you actually had to know how to like maneuver, how to like, you know, conserve your energy. It was overall just a better game. It made you feel like you were in the corner of every map because, you know, you would get surrounded. So yes, honestly, I cannot wait to play it. And I'll be putting in my in-game name. If anything, I'm gonna name myself Killer Armando just to keep the two, you know, the two together. <laughs> Don't steal my name, I'll kill you. 
and hopefully Clayton can work on that multiplayer sync because you know multiplayer sync has always been a huge issue for that frontier as we all may know and if you can get that down and make it work perfectly I'm just saying this might be one of the funnest free games that will be out there you know especially with the whole leveling up system and whatnot yeah I can't wait now Will Dead Frontier be a main thing in my channel to answer that question? No, never again. I will never stick to one game. You know, I always try to be diverse with my channel. You know, just new games that are out, like for example, Apex is one of my favorites, Siege is one of my favorites, Call of Duty might not be my favorites, but it's entertaining. Anything I find fun, I want to work on it, you know, because I don't want to be stuck again like I was all those years back in the day. Because once you start running out of content for a specific game, you go down with it, alright? So, yeah, I'm not trying to do that again, guys. But anyway, this is Armando signing out. I mean, Clayton, I wish the best of luck for you. You know, I hopefully it succeeds. I'm praying that it succeeds because honestly, a game like that, man, I, it was just, I just, I can't see it failing. I really can't. I mean, if everything goes right, I really pray to you and everybody else and to the gods that it ends up being successful. So yeah, guys, it's Armando signing off and I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care. You drive me crazy with the